It is a fresh start mm -hmm. for students at North Park Elementary four months after there was a deadly shooting on their campus. The school kicked off the new year with a makeover, and CBS 2's Jasmine Veal is live in San Bernardino with a look at some of the changes out there. Jas? Yeah, hi, you guys. So it was a busy morning here at North Park Elementary as this new school year has officially begun. You can see behind me just some of the changes here, the new colors on the outside of the school, but inside, many more changes and a few more nerves and jitters. New year, new start, new school, um, sixth grade, right? <laughs> Sharonda Vonner and her daughter Christina are ready to put what happened last April behind them. We, you know, move forward. Catherine Tillman never had any doubt her son and twin girls would be returning to North Park this year. Her son Garrett was across the hallway in the library when the estranged husband of special ed teacher Karen Smith walked into her classroom on that morning of April 10th. He shot Smith and two other students before turning the gun on himself. Custodian actually was the one that pushed him back into the classroom. Garrett's friend Nolan Brandy was injured but survived. He's doing good. Christina had to say it. Today, new security measures at the front office created a long line for parents and students checking in. Inside, teal and gold paint decorate the bright halls, walls, locking steel doors, tempered glass, and back exits have been added to the classrooms. The special needs class where Smith was shot converted into a project room. The door number changed. And those students moved into a room across the hall. School principal Yadira Downing says it's hard to completely erase the painful past. Some people are able to move on. There are others that are still very, very nervous. A healing process that will take time, <laughs> but one that's already begun. I'm just happy to be here. All of the staff members here at the school have returned this year, except for those two instructional aides who were in the classroom where that shooting happened. And Jeff and Sharon and I asked about a memorial for the teacher and student killed, and they said that it's still in the planning process. They just need to figure out what is appropriate for the campus. Yeah.